everybody, welcome back to Padfoot 2D Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and I am still sick. But welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we are going to be up here in Oregon, and like I said last episode, it is time for us to jump in and see if we can own our own logging trailer. Now, I did notice uh, with this mod, a little bit odd with the shadow, <laughs> keeps on uh, blinking on and off. Couldn't really do it. It is 4 a.m. right now. I really wanted to make sure we got a good start to the day. So let's get our trailer and let's see if we can head out into the woods. So now let's go into the trailer dealership. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be here. Boom. There it is. I'm just seeing anything else in here. Anything else I miss? <clears throat> Excuse me. Custom config. Don't just buy it. <laughs> Done. Done. Triaxle would be good if you needed it. Red. Where? What? <laughs> Where and when were you red? We'll go with bravery red. <laughs> All right. We can change the, ch the tires, though. And that's going to be a biggie for me. So let's throw on some Roadmaster, I guess. Let's put on... Oh, yeah. Let's put on some Shadow. Shadow Caps. Roadmaster. Shadow with some shadow caps. That's nice. Um, yeah, and I figured that was going to be probably all that we could do, but that's that's fine by me. Confirm. Let's buy it. Let's put it in Salem where we bobtailed the other night. Look at all this area, and there's only so many towns in between. That's so cool. Yes. We bought it. Trailer management. Here. I love it. We've only used one thus far. Uh, everything happens so quickly. Use. Yes. All right. It says it's attached. Let's see. Is it attached or are we going to be out? Okay. Yeah. It, it's there. All right. Well, it is on there. Now we got to see. Here. Cargo market. Yes, it did work. Oh, we got some here, too. God, I was hoping there was going to be something a little bit closer in the woods, but... All right, if we're doing a day trip, I want to do the shortest one possible. Let's grab you. Oh, this is so good. We're going to have a little bit of drive this morning. For our pickup. Oh, my God, two hours. All right, don't self start buying more garages. Holy crap. All right. Early morning start. Let's get her done. This is so cool. Uh, I'm going to hit the curb. Not used to driving. These are a little bit longer. I feel than what I'm normally used to. <coughs> Hence why I got the light package and everything on it. Come on, you. Hurry it up. Let's go. Good places to go. You got money to make. Of course, that mirror is not adjusted, so I can't see where the crap. <laughs> just, just floor it, damn it. That's 100% my bad. Kick the keys with your knees. Go figure. But yeah, we got a long drive, it seems, to go get our load. But hey, at least we've owned our tra we own our trailer. We're specializing in exactly what we want to do, and that's log transportation for this video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know that I am. And yet again, you can still hear it in my voice, and as I said at the beginning, I'm still sick. Working on recovering from that, but it's actually interesting because of all that I have to, uh, whoop, all that I need to do for work and everything. I've been doing a lot of filming ahead of time. Today's October 21st, so happy almost spooky time to you all, <clears throat> but um, I do know that it's getting colder for everybody, um, probably by the time you see this it'll probably be after Halloween, so I hope you guys are going to have a good Halloween, it's my favorite holiday because it's my favorite to, um, to set up. It's my favorite setup. We always put on a great display every year outside of our house, and 
Sadly, this year I will actually be working um, during the trick-or-treating time that's in our town. So I'm really feeling bummed about that, but it's part of theater, it's part of our jobs, it's part of our life. We'll just have to try for next year. Alright, getting on the five here. Crank through the, those gears afloat as we get up to highway speed. Nobody's coming. Good early morning to be uh, driving on the road. <coughs> That's one of my favorite times is actually driving at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't do it often, obviously. But um, I don't know. The fact of just having the road to yourself and I am flying. Let's slow that down. I think I am in Texas. Holy crap. But yeah, they've done, they're like, look at there. It's a trailer park off the side. That looks great. An old airfield, grass airfield with an old flyer there. It's just, it's so good. As somebody who likes little details that puts me more into the world, that's what I can really enjoy. And that's why, believe it or not, that's actually why I've ever done anything with Grand Theft Auto. And that's because of, um, I like the real world aspect. I, I like, you know, open worlds. I like being able to walk around, you know, there's no warlocks and weird shit like that. You know what I mean? I like straightforward, hey, I'm walking through LA. You know? Went a little fast through that, but that's okay. <coughs> Three quarters of a tank, that should get us through our work day. Don't completely destroy the back end of that car. All right. I just hope that our pickup is going to be in the woods. Um, sorry. Quickly was looking at my phone. Got an update. The, the race is happening right now, and I'm trying not to watch it. But being a knockout round, I'm, like, very interested in watching it. So I do apologize. I'm going to be hazy and <laughs> bad me. Don't be hazy. Play the game. <laughs> nice travel center there. Gas stations all over the place. A diner. Oh, God, I could go for a diner right now. Sun's coming up. What time does it estimate we're going to be there? 7.30? Good for me. Sounds like one of the places to start doing their work day. Let's get back up to 55. Look at this stretch of road. So good. Combine off to the left. Sorry, right, just gonna kinda look around and take in everything. That shadow's gonna bother me now that I notice it. Look at that. I'm actually half tempted to get a screenshot before we even get logs on board. Maybe up here. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it looks like. I'll be right back. Nah, I couldn't get anything really to sit well with that, so let's wait until we got our cargo on board. It's hard. Sometimes something something sits, something doesn't. It's like a beautiful sunrise. I just can't get a good enough shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. No, I just want to get over this cold. Everybody just keeps getting sick and then sick again. And then it gets better and then it gets sick. Uh, can't be sick. Gotta make the money. Gotta drive. Gotta make the money. <laughs> um, it was interesting. I feel like I want to do a, like a throwback thing in December, and I know I'm gonna forget, even when I go back to edit this, and even when I look at it once it's out, and you know, quality check it. I'm gonna forget this. I kind of want to do like an old Mac, Peterbilt maybe, something that's gonna flat nose or something. A little roadside retraction. That was cool. Um, I don't know, do, do something like that, like a flat nose truck or the engines underneath, you know what I mean? Classic kind of rig. It screams 80s to me, and I don't even know if that's even the right time frame. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous with the river down there. I do know there's a lot of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, bridges in the game. That's one thing that everybody keeps talking about. There's a beautiful br bridges, beautiful architecture. Really excited to come upon that. There's even like a drawbridge, apparently. 
I'm so excited about that. Yeah, our luck will pull up to drawbridge, not on its time trigger, and not be able to see it. Just pull over on the side of the road. Look at this, we're just going out into the neck of the woods. This is great. Nice, smooth, winding roads. Kind of makes me want to get one of those mods where you can put a car into the game. And just drive around in a car. Just cruise, you know what I mean? Great. Click off those lights. Don't need them on right now. Looks like we're going to be taking a left up here. Don't put on your blinker yet. Stupid. Also, they've got mile markers on the side of the road here in Oregon. If you look on the left, you can actually see them a little bit better on the right, I think. Too busy looking at the mile markers. They're going to slam on the brakes here. Off road we go. Oh boy. Rough road and all. All right. Let's get ourselves over here. I won't put on our uh, beacons yet. Oh yeah. Bumpy as can be. I got the force feedback going, of course. <coughs> I love how they're like, you can go 65. I mean, I could. I'm not comfortable enough with that yet. Go with a good 25 right now. Look at that, look at you go. Quick camera shot, I guess. <laughs> Oh boy, this is so good. Just bouncing around. It kind of makes me wish I had an automated seat. Kind of bounce around with it. I'll just give that other feel, but I like how the cab's moving. Pac-Man's bouncing around. I know we're not going that fast. But yeah, first time been up this road, so... I don't know what there is that could be risky. Might not be anything. Might be able to just floor it and go through here, but I don't have any like off-road wheels or anything. It's interesting, up here in New England, uh, further you go up in your Canada, um, you actually will have logging roads at the time. A lot you can do dirt bike and four-wheeling on. I actually used to do a lot in Berlin, New Hampshire, which was way up there. Beautiful roads just like this. And, you know, you had cleared out spots like this. You had new grow areas. Beautiful. Hoping to do it again soon. Just gotten a little busy with life. All right, looks like we're taking a right. Well, on the back side of the plant. Look at this. Look at this automation. I know I'm not the first person to play it. I know I'm not the first one to be like, oh, look, at this. here's everything. And you're probably all hearing this again. But for me, it looks so good. Even the details of, you know, making a valley, the little dugout valley that they've got here. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, climb, 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 climb. So, you know, uh, the trailer behind me, it's available on Steam. You can literally just click it, and then you can have your own, which is awesome. Oh, tree going down. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that tree just went down right there in front of us on this trimmer. Gonna do another one. There's another one. Looks good. I'm glad that they've got stuff like that. This just adds to the realism, which I think majority of us who are playing this, that's what we want. We want realism. Hell, that's why I'd even take an e-log and I'd be pain in the ass, but I just want it. Let's see. Job offering. Cargo. You're the one. It's my hour and a half trip. All right, where do you want us? I don't... I don't see any spot. There might be one... There might be one up here. Those might be cones. Ooh. Bouncing all around. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Okay, it's not just not showing up on the map. I really don't want to try backing in there. Can you make me back in there? No, I bet you I can pull through. No, 
Nah, I'm not gonna have enough swing. I know that. Been long enough. I know that. What if they still gave it to me though? Now. Tell you what, let's let's kick it around. Not jackknifing it, of course. Let's go up the way we came, and we'll come down that side road over there. And again, I've only picked up logs once. So, still figuring out their yards here. Or even these makeshift yards, you know what I mean? Oh, there's a tree. Down in front of me. I just really should clean that up. Keep this place a mess. Alrighty. Let's get over here as far as we can. Try getting over to that spot. And then I, I'll back it in once I'm lined up. I just didn't want to go up the hill and then around. Pull you up here. On a log. Oh, just a little cockeyed actually with the trailer. Let's back her up. Yeah. It's hard with this rack that I have in the way. E-brake, shut off the engine. Load me up. Starting at eight. <coughs> All right, that's not bad. Straps are on. Got a full load of logs here. Start her up. I'm gonna take a left out of here. I think I can. Maybe, actually, I don't know if the truck can make that. We'll try. Yeah, it took about an hour. Yeah, I know, the parking brake's still on. I'm just getting my feet adjusted. All right. Get those beacons on. I know we're only a little bit. I'm just long and heavy, it's all. Nice and slow. We got this. Come on. Keep the RPMs down. Just do a slow crawl. You'll get up there. Not worth blowing anything up. <coughs> All right. We're heading out. This might be a good screenshot. All right. I'll be right back. There we go. That's going to be a good one. Dust looks a little fake, but... It shows you're working in the yard, and that's all that matters. All right, now they say 65. I don't advise that. But I'm wondering, what's it feel like at 30? We're at 30 right now, and we are just bouncing around. Granted, I have seen logging trucks when we're up in Berlin. They're going like 65 down these roads. <clears throat> Look at Pac-Man go. Look at that. Oh, that's too good. Worried about this kind of hairpin turn here. Really, our first official load of logs when we're doing our owner operator stuff. Really don't want to dump it from there. <coughs> All right, let's see. Let's kick up that speed. You might be able to hear the wheel just vibrating nonstop in the background. <laughs> oh, God. It rattles so much. Now, brakes, brakes, brakes. That's some crazy stuff. I'll leave the beacons on the road. I don't know what Oregon's law is on that. I know up here in New Hampshire, at least, um, if you're going through town and stuff, they usually have beacons on just because of their size. So we'll leave them on. 
There'll be our here, look at us lights, and we will just proceed with caution. We're on the road, it's about an hour and 10 minutes. It's gonna be a good trip though. Let's see. Yeah, we're tall, what it feels like to me. I don't know, feels good though. I also feel like this kind of like hour run, <coughs> excuse me. We really wanted to, if we planned it out right. Another fender bender? Man, I know it's pretty, but you guys gotta stop looking at trees and stuff and start paying attention to the road. But if we planned it out right, we could try getting multiple runs in at the same time. This one's gonna be one video because we had to drive two freaking hours just to get there. <laughs> Way too fast. So I'm trying to figure out if these are meant to look like cardboard cutouts. Because we've got Carl, and we've seen Carl before, and these are all, like, cutouts. So I'm just hoping that they weren't just trying to be, like, quick and cheap and say, Hey, look, there's horses out in the field. Deer crossing sign. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a triangle. All right, we'll try to give them as much room as we can. Stick right over there on that yellow line. And that extra lane I wasn't overly worried about. Hopefully that, maybe that fire truck will stay... They're okay. If not, Wrecker should be heading out that way. We do speed ahead. Well, you're the boss. It's a green light. It's going to be an uphill. I'm going to let us drift down to that speed. I saw the sign. I know it still says 55. Whoa. Look at that. There's a giant Walmart over there. There's so many cool places to deliver here. I know I'm going to be focusing on, on logging up here, but there's amazing opportunities. That Walmart was huge. Wish I could have seen it a little bit better. Oh, well. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying so hard. It's so hard because, I don't know, I'm still new at YouTube, so I kind of sometimes forget that I'm not just sitting here talking to myself. I'm recording and making a video for you all. I'm also sorry if the audio on myself has been a little low, just because of my throat, etc. <laughs> so, I do apologize. It's been a little hard to hear me this episode. Not that you want to hear my voice anyways. <laughs> oh, slow roll off the line. And we got a lot of timber behind us. And to somebody who is a carpenter for a living, you know, as a technical director, if you're new to the channel, usually design a lot, but I'm also constructing most of the set with my students and, of course, my wife. Uh, but as, as this is really neat to be able to do this step. I really can appreciate that. <clears throat> I'm driving it, delivering it, just going back and forth. I do wish, though, for logging towns, like where I assume we're going to or where we came from, be populated with more logging trucks. Oh, look at that. Look at that over there. I know I gotta pay attention to the road, but I'm gonna stop this light. It's a pawn shop, there's a motel. There's that beautiful building back there. I didn't even get to see what it was. Look at this, this is like small town America. That's what it feels like to me. You can even, we can even stay over there. This is great. SES, you really outdid yourselves this time. Thank you. <laughs> we'll end up definitely doing some uh, owner operator stuff up here as well with, <coughs> excuse me, with some of our trucks. News van and a Greyhound going by. Heading up to Klamath Falls. It must also be cool if you are a truck sim enthusiast and they do your state. Like something small like Oregon or New Mexico or Phoenix. California is a little big, so I think that might be a little bit harder, but it must be really cool to be able to kind of drive around. I know this is not what it looks like, okay? I understand that, but it'd still be cool. Like, when we do the, the Coast to Coast mod. I find it really, really awesome that I can drive um, 
up to Burlington, past Springfield. Ella. Sorry, Ella's dreaming right next to me. They're barking in a dream. That's weird. Hi, you good? You good? Yeah, she's good. <laughs> Come on, slow down a little bit. I know I'm going 50. So really excited about all, everything that's around. I will say, some of the roads like this one seem like the speed limit seems very slow. There must be a reason for it to seem slow. <coughs> Come on. Don't cough and drive at the same time. Up to 55. Let's pick up that speed a little bit more. Oh my gosh. It sounded like I'm going through puberty. My voice never cracks, so you never know. Maybe I'll have a voice. Deep after this, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm going through puberty to now. Uh, um, here's another one of those, another log road. This one's like a super highway log road. It's flat, it's long. That was the first uh, load that we ever did was <clears throat> from out that way. So, really excited to see possibilities there. Ooh, maybe we'll be able to actually pick up. We're right next to it, technically. That's what I'd like to do. Set it up just to go from there to the mill that's here. Just back and forth. Make a full day's work out of it. Slow down a little bit more. Heading up to the mill here. Looks good. I'm actually surprised this is, uh, Lightly paved. Deep Grove. Hello, everybody. I'm taking a left, I guess. Oh, not flashers. Left. It'd be kind of cool to be actually like waiting in a line. Like there would be a line of trucks delivering logs. I know that kind of takes some of it out. Yet again, make this all adjustable where if you don't want to wait in line. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. That you don't have to. These mills look great. Alright, I'm guessing it's to the left. Yes. Alright, where do you want us to get unloaded? You tell me. Stop here. Where do you need it? Okay. Uh, set that parking brake really quick. Get out. <laughs> I mean, we'll try. We'll try our best to get it back there, but holy crap. I don't know why you're going to unload us in the middle of freaking nowhere. I'm gonna have to sit outside actually just for a second on this one. Really kind of plan it through. Start kicking it this way. Probably not even enough. As of that, because I gotta leave enough room to get your truck in there afterwards. Let's find out. Straighten her out just a bit. Man, this is gonna be one of probably the hard, hardest drop offs we've done. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Look at the map really quick. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure it wasn't going to be one of those where we could have driven around. I'm so tempted to actually look. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do something really quick. We're going to bring our trailer here. All right. I'm going to bring it through. Straighten her out really quick. 
All right, let's stop here. Make a quick phone call. Ask if it's okay to drop our trailer here for a second. Usually, actually, better yet, let's not do that. Reattach. Parking brakes on. Go here. Photo mode. Now, what I've just realized is we can actually kind of take photo mode kind of like we are uh, getting out of the truck. Walk ourselves over here. Ooh, nice dirt, everything on this too. So what I'm looking for, is this the only way to get back here or is there like a, a hidden way? I can't get that far away from the truck. Of course not. Uh, okay. <coughs> I was originally gonna drop the trailer and drive around, but I don't know. that lumber. See what? I'm going to do my first thing that I said I was going to do. Park and brake. Drop the trailer. Make sure we're disconnected. I'm going to just, I'm going to pull through here really quick because I really don't want to go through the effort of going back there if there was a way to sneak through. I don't think so because this would be a lot of warehouse to be driving through. But I've got to check. Because if I don't, I'd be so mad if I went through all that effort. Hmm. Nope. Okay. That's all that I needed to check. I just, I needed to check that. It's good through here, though. Alrighty. Back on board. I just know that this is going to be one hell of a parking job. All right. Now that we wasted that time, made this a lot longer video than what I was anticipating. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, I feel like I'm getting worse. I've been taking care of myself, meds and everything, but it's probably just the exhaustion sitting in. I know I'm really hard on the brakes on this thing. I'm going to have to replace those sooner or later. I personally don't think it's going to fit back there. It thinks it will. that and say be in an easier spot to do try to keep an eye on where those tires are so I got a split so it's a little bit harder to drive Brain's like trying to work overtime, trying to do all the math here. I know there's a wall like right there. Okay, let's try now. Okay, yep, good, happy. Happy with this.
Jeez, come on. Sorry, just completely focused, completely forgot any sort of commentary that should have been going here. You guys can see it. You guys can see how hard this is. How far? Yeah, that's how close we are to the fence. Right. Any sort of, uh, trying to do any sort of corrections. Not gonna happen. I'll pull a little bit more. Brakes. Let's just try. I'm trying to get it kicked a little bit more that way. Yeah. yeah. Wheel all the way back over. Right against that stack of plywood. Just barely getting past it. Okay. Let's just bring it straight back, straight back, straight back. Okay, because it's off the side a little bit. Ah. <sighs> forward Let's see if they're happy now I'm feeling like the trailer's actually kicking out of the back yeah just a little bit I'm happy with there Brake set, yeah, because they're gonna unload it. How? <laughs> All right, engine off. Turn those off. Let's get unloaded. <coughs> Excuse me. Lumberjack. Hey, cool. Uh, 73 miles, three hours, 21 minutes. That was an hour drive, and it took us about two hours to park the goddamn thing. Got anything for me to do? No, I don't think so. Let's see, though. Let's see what we can be doing next time, though. Roll map. Yeah, we just came more or less from Bend. We came from here. So, cargo market. What? You know what? Sure. This is what we have to look for next time, because I want to head out to Newport anyways. <clears throat> but that's going to do it for this one, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, we do live stream on Twitch, and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think. I always love to be able to have a conversation with you guys. Just talk about anything that's underneath the sun. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Just lets us know that we're doing something right. If you really did enjoy and you wanted to support us, a subscribe is always appreciated. Just puts a big smile on our face every day when we be able to see that we have an audience that we're performing for. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.